Hey, what's up? It's Joe Tamargo from Winhead Pump Repair. I'm over here with my buddy Lucas. What's up, man? guys? Lucas is a guest star in the videos. Usually we have my boy Robert, you know, the guy that has like the caveman haircut, right? You ever see that beard? Yeah, did you see when he had the mohawk? No. Oh, yeah. And you know what? You two, we didn't catch that. It was so short because I was like, dude, there's no way you're coming to work for mohawk. He's like, you suck, man. And I'm like, all right. So anyway, welcome to the video show. Me and Lucas today are going to be showing you how to access the back end of the Haver Soup Pump. We're going to show you step by step in several videos how to rebuild this Haver Soup Pump. There's a lot of videos out there that we already had, like how to take apart the bearings and the seal and the change of parts. But a lot of times guys are like, dude, you're making it look too easy. So today, we haven't taken this one apart, man. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking a nut driver. Okay, so you're going to want to get yourself a nut driver, just like this. And you're going to get one that fits the back of your nuts here. So what you're going to see is right here. All right, there's two bolts here. Now, all this is live. This is a, a pump that a customer sent in. So this is not like some brand new pump. Like if you look at YouTube, you're like, you'll actually see it. No offense to these people. I know they're good hearted people and some of them are from good parts of the country, but they're like, you know, he's like Shannon. And she's some from, you know, Blue Man Pools. And she's like, oh, the Hayward Super Pump. It's, it's so good and it's efficient. It's like, bam, if I gave you 50 of these, one of these, and I gave you $500, you wouldn't even know where that thing went in the backyard. So you, can, you really gave me a review, you know? So these are real videos that are going to show you how to do it. All right, so we're going to take this apart. You got this back one here. All right. So Lucas, what's up, man? How you doing? I know. Same old, same old. Same old, same old. All right, so what we can do now, Lucas, is we're going to take apart this back cover here. Now, once you take apart these two screws, you'll be able to pop this back cover off here. Just like Bam. Now, let me explain different parts of this to you. This is where you can change the voltage in the Hager Soup Pump right here. These are where the leads go. You can also access the capacitor, and here's your motor switch. Okay, so on the next video, we're going to show you how to remove the capacitor, how to remove the motor switch. Okay, and then the third video, we're going to show you how to grab the shaft and how to remove the impeller. And then the fourth video, we're going to show you how to take apart the motor. Fifth video, we're going to show you how to take apart the bearings. The sixth video, we're going to show you how to put back on the bearings. The seventh video, we're going to put the bearings back in. The eighth video, we're going to put the seal on the impeller and show you how to properly install the seal. The ninth video, we're going to put the seal and the seal housing back on the pump. And the tenth video, we're going to put the whole pump back together. And at some point, we'll probably make some random video with Robert out backyard smoking newborns, killing himself, going, dude, just spray painted another one. So, okay, stay tuned for the next video, and we're going to show you how to take apart the capacitor and the motor switch. Peace.